Hey guys, welcome back to the QB Docs. Uh, today I'm by myself. It's early on a Sunday morning, and Dusty is actually getting ready for church, uh, so he's not in the video today. But I have a great exercise for you guys to help increase strength and performance of the supraspinatus muscle. All right, so the, super, the supraspinatus is one of four rotator cuff muscles and is responsible for pulling this humeral head down in socket. Whenever you go into elevation, so that prime mover, that deltoid, can raise the arm up. All right, and if people have weakness of this muscle specifically, that, that humerus can't be pulled down, so there'll be some pinching of the soft tissue that runs underneath that acromion, that, that shoulder bone, and the tendons that run underneath. So, super spinach runs underneath, long head of the biceps, and there's also a bursa that sits underneath that as well. So, for those of you that you know, maybe have some shoulder issues after throwing or shoulder issues after bench pressing, uh, doing any type of pressing movements. Uh, you probably have some impingement of that musculature, those tendons that are underneath the dacromion, uh, just from maybe an unstable uh, scapula uh, or maybe even some pinching due to some soft tissue restriction on the front of the shoulder or some other issues. So I'm going to give you a great exercise to strengthen the supraspinatus. So it can be that the humerus can be pulled down to give that area some room whenever you elevate overhead. Okay? So this is called the empty can exercise. And this is one if you already have some inflammation in that shoulder from impingement, I would stay away from. So if you have pain, don't do this exercise. But I'll give you another exercise to do uh, that's a good variation of this if you're actually in pain. Okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is whenever we do this exercise, your palms are gonna be down, okay? So you see a lot of times in this neutral raise doing lateral raises. Well, for this one, we're gonna go into full internal rotation with our hands pulled down because this has been shown to increase supraspinatus activation the most out of any other exercise, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna raise your arms up like this, all right? But it's not gonna be straight up, all right? It's not gonna be straight out to the side. It's going to be on a plane called scaption, which is 30 degrees anterior to this frontal plane. All right, so if you're thinking here, this right to the side, you want to be in just about this much. Okay, so I'll do it in front of you again. So I'm here, I got my feet about shoulder width apart, my rib cage pulled down, my chin is pulled and packed in a position where it's stable, and I'm going to bring my arms up just like this. Good, and y'all might be able to see that I have some issues with this shoulder specifically as far as supraspinatus. So if you can see, I might shrug a little bit during this. I'm really gonna focus on keeping my shoulders retracted, my rib cage pulled down, so I can target that muscle specifically. All right, as far as sets and reps, you would wanna do 10 to 12 reps of this, uh, one or two times a day with a weight that isn't too heavy. That's where people go wrong is if you go too heavy and I'm trying to really force the weight up and use my momentum to bring the weight up versus actually setting my trunk, setting my jaw down, my chin back, and doing it to where I'm targeting that muscle specifically versus targeting upper trap, maybe some lumbar extension. Those are all issues that are compensatory strategies for weakness in the rotator cuff or weakness of the straight anterior which is the muscle runs underneath the scap and the whole in place. Okay? So do that exercise. Make sure you're doing it in a scaption plane, hands down. For those of you who are already in pain with this, the only difference is going to be instead of hands down, now you're going to bring your palms up. Right? Palms up is full external rotation of the shoulder, which is going to give some room underneath the, under this acromion. So this kind of closes the space. Extra rotation can open the space. So whenever you do go into elevation, there's absolutely zero chance of you uh, really impinging those tendons unless you're super inflamed, in which you probably need to, you're probably in that acute stage of inflammation, you know, range of motion, doing some light, uh, you know, perturbation, some just light things until that pain goes away, then you can start doing some of this stuff, all right? If you like that video, please check out our other videos at the QB Docs on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube or our website, theqbdocs.com.